Well, that was a vacation. Yeah, I know I've been gone for a while, guys, and, uh, well, yeah, pretty much it was just a solid vacation. And not to mention, I honestly ran out of figures. Uh, <laughs> I ran out of figures, ran out of uh, Movie Mondays. And, and trust me, I had to stock up on a couple of last night figures before I could start doing a whole bunch of recording again. So, I unintentionally went on a vacation from recording while I was on vacation. Okay, so... <laughs> but anywho, um, this is, this is Payload from the first movie. Now, there is a couple of warning signs for this one already, where... One of the first things it does is that this front gr grill part will pop off. And this isn't just mine. This seems to be every single version of this of this guy. Uh, I mean, not every single version, but every the re the release of this figure alone, this this part and a few others that you're fixing to see pop off very very easily. But a couple uh, but some modeling glue will actually hold these in place. But I didn't want to do it until I can actually show you guys and give you a heads up. Um, he is an armor truck, and I can kind of dig the uh, the vehicle mode. I mean. God bless. I do miss these paint apps. I really do. Um, little details like this. Not that much robot kibble underneath either. Um, rolls really good. Ah, oh, God bless. It just takes me back to I miss <laughs> these vehicles. I miss having stuff like this. Now we have this plain. Uh, now we just have mostly just like plain stuff. But this is just me dogging on the R RID line. But anywho, let's get to the back to this guy and let's start transforming him. Let's go ahead and just crane this. Because he's kind of involved. So first thing you want to do is you want to pull the actual part of the uh, truck up. And you just start from there. And just go ahead and just take that off so I can get out of the way. Um, so how was my vacation? It was good. Um, did I do anything special? Uh, I went and saw last night. That was a movie. Uh, I mean... My enjoyment level of it was the exact same as uh, Age of Extinction, so I can't give any props there. Uh, oh yeah, I bought this from eBay. He said it was 100% complete, and it's missing a hand. I'm not gonna give out the eBay seller's name, but he said he was going to check his little packing table, and I never heard back from him. So yeah, but anyway, I do kind of like this little faux, the faux movie detailing when they do it in panels like that. I really do like, I really do when they get away with stuff like that. Now what you want to do here is that you want to split this, pull this up, push it in until you hear two clicks. That's when you know it's fully on, when it's fully in there. Um, tilt these out, pull these in. Now they do feel that now they do in fact they do and feel is kind of stiff, but it's just mostly the angles and the and the actual. Uh, the edge, the edges here, they're not, they're not rounded. They're completely flat. In another to make the, to make the vehicle mode more, uh, more one solid chunk, which I can't fault them for that. But at the same time, you can just fold these up. Uh, you want to come over here and pull these to the side and push these forward. And there you have movie, <laughs> movie one payload. Um, now first and foremost, before we start anything, he does have this really bad jutting out the back rod here. Um, let me put that tripod back on. Now, <laughs> oh boy, this guy's a little loosey-goosey. And this, this, this is, okay, there's three parts on this thing that like to fall off. This part right here that's on, that's going to be on the front of the gimmick, and this part of the head, this whole, this whole little... That little part right there. Of course, you can tell it's only held on by these little four little posts right here. So you can definitely take some modeling glue or, or, some, or, some, or some cement, and it'll gladly stay. And the dead giveaway is the head is that it is a drone from the video game. Which, if I do remember from the video game, these guys were a pain in the butt. I mean, a real pain in the butt. These were these guys were the heavy hitters. So once you get rid of your little dr cars and planes, these guys will come and be like the set, the the like you would come up to like their chest. Like, like that's how big these guys were. Um, now, granted, I don't get, I don't I don't expect these guys getting a bigger size class because of that, but a deluxe is more than enough. Fine. Now, what does this rod do for his gimmick? Well, if you push it forward enough, fast enough, oh, if everything stays out of the way. Whoop. You get a little grabby hand. Grab, 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 grab. And it's a 
pretty decent circumference where it can actually grab another deluxe figure uh, very, <laughs> very well. Grab, 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 grab. Um, but uh, this this part, just like the great, just like any other parts, do not like to stead in. Um, I had to go watch a couple reviews to make sure mine wasn't uh, like <laughs> I had to make sure where that missing hand was a bad sign. But now there's parts falling off this guy. I had to go watch like four or five different reviews to make sure I didn't get a defective copy. But uh, <laughs> but now that I see that was the norm, I was like, oh, he's defective already. <laughs> But how's it, but okay, so how's his posability? Well, his head is on a is only on a swivel, and thanks to the little armor bits, he uh, can only go from side to side. His shoulders are on a ball joint. He does have a bicep swivel and an elbow joint. He would have a, a ball joint at the hand if I had one. Um, but even then, it's kind of it's kind of limited to you having to open the flap and having to move his hand around without opening the flap still. Uh. Legs, ball joint, no thigh swivel, uh, n not even a 90 degree bend, more like a, not even a 40, maybe a 45. Uh, it does have some ankle back and forth tilt thanks to transformation. And, uh, pretty neat. Like I mentioned before, I do kind of dig these drone guys, mostly because it help fills out a line and it does kind of <laughs> they do help fill out, they do help fill out a line and it gives them a little bit more creative freedom i mean like this guy looks i mean he does look very very nifty and uh now what's my final rating on him uh i say pick him up i really do uh he is a nifty little he is a nifty little transformer. I do like how he how compact this guy is. When you start transforming him, there is no there is really no free space in him. Maybe except for a little bit in the tailgate, but that's but you can tell that's there to specifically make clearance. Uh, but if you do grab him, first off, make sure he has all the parts, and make sure you do have make sure you do have a supply of modeling glue on hand to glue down the extra parts. But once, but once everything is glued on in place, he's a nifty little guy to mess with. Um, I would say pick him up for cheap, pick him up part of a lot. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend you, you guys going out of your way to get him. Anyway, guys, I'm gone. I'm Ghost. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on Friday. Peace.